Say hi, Reptar. <laughs> He's like, I'm tired, man. Nowadays, I really miss my fucking idols, so that's the title. I grab a Bible, pray for my rivals, dead on arrival. I swear this shit to be like a cycle. Bodies in piles, blood rivers resemble Niles. They need survival, they need to rehearse and recital. I just sit back and listen to old Wayne songs and get done from a Lex while I brainstorm <laughs> and spit flames while also making it rainstorm. You see, I can't ignore it, and these niggas don't see us and they brain is snoring. And you sleep on me until you can't no more. And don't fake on me and try to play me for it. I don't know why I feel like nobody loves me. Or why they feel like my attention is something ugly Or why I feel like everyone needs something from me Or why I feel like everyone just saying fuck me Or why I feel like the opposition gonna bust me If I gave you my heart would you still love me Lately baby I feel like nobody trusts me Is it just me? Shout out Montreal, Canada Montreality you Shout did. out Montreality You did Light skin face. Come on, catch no her. She, she the originator. Hit the light skin face, babe. I can't do it. Cause you got it's makeup natural. on. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, yes. Most romantic. <laughs> Eat ass. Oh my god, that's romantic. <laughs> that's fucking romantic. It's a joke, bro. I don't, do, I don't really be romantic like Yo, that besides the, the fact I'm just me. Y'all went on the walk on the beach yesterday. Did we go on the walk on the beach? <laughs> we went to like go-karts. <laughs> no, not even go-karts. It was like roller coasters. <laughs> me just being with her all day, every day, 24-7 is romantic to me. Fuck out of here. <laughs> What would you say is the most romantic thing you've ever you done? You want this? You want this one? You, you heard? If you had to tell it, what's the most romantic thing you've ever done? Ever. I feel like every day is romantic, but um, he bought me this five thousand dollar bag. That's pretty. Romantic. Seven thousand dollars. It was five thousand. Well, Canada. it was in. We bought it in. Um, oh yeah, it was seven thousand in Canada, so it's five thousand. I give her five thousand dollars every day. <laughs> <laughs> cap, cap, that's rap cap. That's big rap cap. You know, I just gave her and my sister some bread right now. Cause I love them to death. First time I seen her was on the gram and I put I DM'd her picture to my to my DM just to remember her. So I looked up Trippy Red in the DM, went to my own DMs and she was there. And then I was in New York and I hit her up and she came. But she was like, she was tough. She was like, <laughs> She thought she was cool. As soon as, as soon as she got in my position, you mine now. <laughs> and she was mine. <laughs> she get on my fucking nerves more than anybody else, but she make me happy more than anybody else. <laughs> Besides Mama Dukes. They both make me happy. Have you ever like broken each other's hearts? And if so, how do you deal with it? Nine times out of 10, we don't do nothing that bad that we hate each other after it. But we definitely fix our problems. We got our own little connection how we fix problems, you know. But I can't really help y'all with that. But as far as like just talking it through and getting it together, if that's your one, then you gonna get it together. So like communication basically, that's important, right? Hell yeah, communication. If y'all gonna both be petty as fuck, then y'all never work. And we're both petty as fuck, but I'm not always petty, she not always petty. She kind of more petty than me. <laughs> you said what? Ultimate fetish. <laughs> fetish. <laughs> Alex is my whole fetish. Everything about her is my fetish. Damn, you gonna say that then? You my fetish then, cause it's like... <laughs> Dead ass. Dead ass. Dead ass. Dead ass. <laughs>
Yeah. On Brooklyn B. For real? Try white! Try white! Try white! I grew up listening to J. Cole. Feel me? I didn't do too much growing for his musical time, you know what I'm saying? But I just knew when he first came out, one of the goats. You feel me? He's hard, regardless of what you think. He is a rapper. He gives you nothing but bars and lyrical play, which is amazing. You know what I'm saying? And his lyrical play is like distinct. It's more so he'll say some real shit and he'll he'll play around with it and give you the real shit the whole time. And I really appreciate him and fuck with his music because he's doing something for the culture that a lot of the other people ain't really doing there. Hum ya, ya, hey, hoo, ha, ya, ya, ya. No, nigga, I wanna hear bars sometimes. Like, I don't just listen to y'all niggas, you know what I'm saying? I play y'all song like three, I play three songs like that. And then the rest of the time I'm playing rock music, J. Cole, motherfucking Kanye. Damn, why did I say Kanye, Kanye? Sonically, Kanye is the go. Even though he lost his damn mind, sonically he's the go. What made the album so special? The king, the king of New York, and the king of arts do a whole project together. Beat wise, flawless, amazing. You can play every track and the beats are amazing. Wordplay, bro, you, the king of New York and the king of arts going at it for hours of this damn album. And it's just so crazy, bro. Me and Cody shit is the, uh, we gonna take it to the moon, take it to the stars. You know I had to bring Queen B up. Look at this part. <laughs> oh God. Oh God, that's our shit. For sure. What do you guys think like happens when your soul like, like is, is leaving this this place? When my soul is leaving this place, where the fuck else is my soul gonna go? Maybe it don't even leave this place. Maybe it stays around. Maybe it it stays in the shadows. Maybe it picks up new life. You never know. We don't know that. Scientifically, we don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we, maybe we, we die. We go to heaven. What if? Maybe we die, go to hell. Maybe we're living on hell right now. Like, you never know. Facts. We live in hell. I feel like we live in hell. Like there are dimensions all around us. So I feel like when you die, basically. You are still here, like you see everything that's going on, but we don't see you. Yeah, like I feel like my brother's <laughs> spirit watches over me Bad. so crazily. And because every time I go somewhere, I always see the number 14, and it's very ironic angelic and weird. Angelic number. It's an angelic number. And when you, when that's your favorite lucky number, and you just dazing off into the sun, and then you look to the left, and you see 14 out of nowhere, and you're like, damn, <laughs> maybe. That is my brother telling me, like, you're doing this shit, I'm proud of you. And I get told that a lot from him, if if to say 14 represented him. You're going on the right path type shit. Right. I'm balanced. I think positive, I think negative. I am positive, I am negative. It is what it is, it's life. I don't really, I can't be fully positive. And a lot of these guys, they'll portray positive on the internet and in real life. <laughs> Not positive. Mom's reality show. I let the money dance, the diamond blings all by itself without any help. So that means it shine on its own without any gold. I've been a king without any throne. It's time to take your ass to school, ain't no place. Like home on 1400 with the screw up kids. Don't screw up, kid, or that chopper wet your crew up, kid.